All right, welcome back everyone to Southern Woods and Waters. This week's Pictures of the Week are being brought to you by Flowers Deer Processing. Hey, we gotta, we gotta apologize. We don't have any pictures to show right now, but we do wanna talk to you about where you can send them to us. And you can send them at 474 James Robertson Parkway, Nashville, Tennessee, 37219, or simply email them to me at hugh at southernwoodsandwaters.com. Go to our Facebook page. You, I, hey, I've got a couple of people starting to download them on Facebook. Love it. That's easy. You can go to our Southern Woods and Waters Facebook page and just, just download them there. We'll get them up here, we promise. But you got to go check out uh, Flowers Deer Process in 4550 Eaton's Creek Road. They are preparing now for September 26th is the opening day of deer season here in Tennessee. Do you know that, Dayton? Kentucky's in about the first month of September. The first, yeah, the first Saturday. Yeah. So, it's not going to be long, bro. Uh -uh. It's not long. Mm -mm. But, Dayton, what we, he still got some of the summer left. And I know it's hot. But this can be some of the best fishing time if you do it right. Well, absolutely. I mean, Depending on jug fishing. Oh, we love jug fishing. Trot lining. Yep. Catching stripe in the jumps. They're up every morning and every evening. Bass with them. Yep. Uh, you go to the Caney Fork River and catch trout. And stay cool. And not even get hot. You know <laughs> what I mean? Stay cool all day. There's plenty of stuff to do in there this type. Is. And, you know, as long as you get out early and don't wait till noon or 12 o'clock to do it. But somewhere like the Caney Fork River, hey, it's all day there. You just stick your feet in the water and you're cooled off. It's 50-something degrees and it'll, it'll bring a chill to the bone if you let and it. And brown and rainbow trout in there weigh 8, 10, you, and 12. They are catching some big ones. I'm telling you. Big ones. It's full of them. I've seen more pictures of four, five, and six pound rainbows and then eight, nine, and ten pound brambles. Oh, they're big and they're a lot bigger than that. If you ever but float it. I mean, that's an air. That's, yeah. that's getting to where you see a lot of pictures. Yeah, like there's that. a lot of people fishing it now. You know, a lot of people come from all around the country to fish up there. Why ain't we gone, Dayton? Because it's too hot for me. <laughs> and I got to work. <laughs> I got to work, too. But it's a, it's a great uh, deal. I've I, I got to tell you something else I've been seeing. Um, the Tennessee Moving Water Guide Service, those guys, J.G. Allman and Nick Adams, they have been out there catching muskie still. Right. And big striper. Yeah, and Huge that's, you know, people in, people in Tennessee or anywhere that watch the show that haven't had a good muskie experience, they need to get with them guys. They're awesome. And they need to go because you can drive all the way to Canada, anywhere you want to go to try to find them, but right here in Tennessee, they're isn't just it, as big and mean. It is something like we're the unique little spot in the whole nation that it's you can have. Sauger, we got Sauger, walleye. Yep, but there's a few walleye everywhere. But you can go to Cordell Hole Lake right now. Got a little secret I'm gonna tell you. Better not. We'll get beat up when I get home, <laughs> or I'll get run over Wait on the interstate. Wait a I know who's gonna beat you up over this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Shallow running crankbaits, Cordell Hole Lake, in the backs of the creeks or rip rafts. You can go up there and catch a limit of Sauger on a crankbait just about every day, and you ain't got to be up there very long friend of ours went, caught about 60 bass and had 30 something sauger and kept his limit, but he said the rest of them was keepers too, so. That's awesome. Fish are biting everywhere. It's just a matter of going. I mean, you go down below to Hickory Lake, just like I've done for 40 years, bumping a three-way rig catfishing, don't get there at about nine o'clock and fish till dark and have 40 or 50 in a live well, but you won't have nothing over 10 pounds, but they're all the little two, threes, fours, and five pounders. Yeah catch them all day long, you know. Well, that's the eating size. Right, and the benefit of that is, you know, it's so hot, you run up in the bowls, cut the motor off before you get there and float down all the way past the ramp, then you get to get another breeze to cool off and float down. And by the time you get to the ramp, you're sweating. Yeah, by the time, yeah. You, take you need water, that breeze. Kool Aid, whatever you can get. That's right. And it, just make a day out of it, have yeah. fun. But please wear those personal flotation devices. Uh, um, good ones. I, don't get no ones. cheap get, ones. Don't, yeah. yeah. Don't. Your life's worth more than, than that. So uh, get you some good ones that'll that'll hold you. Um, and we just recently, you know, uh, Craig Morgan's. Yep. That was terrible. Right. And his son was wearing a, a life jacket. Yeah, but did you see what type? No. It was the type for skiers. It wasn't a real life jacket. It was a thinner that layered body one. foam. It's or a body, body foam. Yeah. So I don't like those. Things. Well, that's not based. I mean, it's got to be U.S. Coast Guard approved. I know that, and that's the best I can tell you. Yep. And they've got that on the inside of them, if you'll read it. Right. 
Whether it'll tell you on the life jacket. You now, I don't know about those jackets that he was either. wearing, but the purpose of a regular Coast Guard approved life jacket is to keep you above water no matter what. Yeah, and, and I think what happened, and this is just from my speculation, is I, w I think he went face down. And, and it was down. holding him up, but it was fa he was face down. and he Well, not that. I think he went down. A little bit. A little bit, because it, it wasn't floatable. It's not something that keeps you floating like a U.S. Coast Guard approved life oh, jacket. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's real thin. It's just for, let's let me float a little bit, get my skis on, and then yeah. we'll hook back up and take off. Or water, or jet ski or anything like that. Well, I just know we need to all keep uh, Craig Morgan and his family yes. in our thoughts and prayers. And, and uh, really, really sad story. really is. Uh, I, th I believe the kid was doing everything right. Um, you know, it's just unfortunate. And so uh, accidents happen. Uh, don't know what, why these things happen, but all we can do is leave it to God and let him get us through it. And so, Craig, we pray for you and your family. Uh, we wish you the very best, and we hope that uh, if you need us, brother, we're right here. So talk more about fishing, uh, uh, catfishing. Let's, let's, uh, because... A lot of people that watch the show Dayton don't have the advantage of getting into a, a bass boat or a right. big boat. You can go catfishing off the bank, though. In the Tennessee River, the Cumberland River, anywhere and over catch Priest and catch all you want. Of fish. It's just where you go, though. You have to have a lake map of any lake you decide, whether you fish off the bank or boat or if you're just a recreational person. If you don't have a GPS, you've got to have a map. Yeah. You know, you got to have a map. You got to cut down. I mean, what do they say? Ninety percent of the fish leaving ten percent of the water. Right. So you got to cut it down. But so once long. again, as far as bank access, that map shows you, or computer, go on your smartphone. Smartphone yeah. shows you all the access points. You can download the app for all the GPS locations and stuff. Shows you all the boat ramps, fish attractors, where you can fish all over Tennessee, from Kentucky Lake to Dale Holla to Priest oh, yeah. to Old Hickory. And that's what the state's trying to do. They're getting more and more, if you'll notice, places for bank fishermen mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. But here comes a problem. You go over there one day and it looks fine. You go back three days later and there's 19 bags of trash laying around where nobody will pick their trash up. And I say this about every year or so on the show, there's nothing to make you no sicker than to go walk around Percy Priest Lake in the wintertime or right now. You cannot haul the trash out of the woods with a tractor no. trailer truck. It's all over Long Hunter State Park, but yeah. you don't see it because you're on the walking trail. That's right. So something needs to be done. Tennessee does need to come up with a Clean Water Act, something to, that motivates people not to let their Coke bottles blow out, their fishing wrappers. You know, fishermen and stuff are just as guilty. We got cracker oh, wrappers, yeah. we got plug wrappers, yep. Coke tops, fishing bottles, line. everything. I everything. mean, it's not one, but it's just something that's going to exist. It's going to have to be approached sometime or another. You it cannot is. keep doing it. I mean, you just can't keep doing it. Every Coke bottle in Mount G and every cigarette bud in all your towns goes right down the drain system into the lake. That's right. Most of the trash isn't flying out of the boats. Most of the trash washes from Mount Juliet or Lebanon or Murfreesboro or Nashville Paris or, or Paris or, yeah. you know, Granville or it don't matter. It's going into the lake if you litter. Mm -hmm. And so you got to stop littering. People's got to take responsibility. Put a plastic bag in your boat. And put your trash up. You Try know what it. I mean? It's not hard. I, it's not hard at all. It really is. I get out of done fishing the tournament. Me and Jimbo looks like we done been to the BFI place up there. <laughs> we got so much stuff wrapped up, sandwich bags, you coke do. bottles, but it ain't blowed out. It ain't blowing out. You know. And it's going in the right receptacle and, and leave it. It's there. just something's going to have to give, though. I'm telling you. In the next few years, the water's so dirty right now. I mean, and that's from pesticide, sewage, shampoo companies, and all kinds of stuff. People don't understand. You go over swimming and skiing in Percy Priest Lake, there's more bacteria in there than there is anywhere else you can get in. Yeah, yeah. You take a little old sore on your hand, it'll turn into something major. We've had, we've had people that called in that have had incidences where they had like a, um, just a scrape or something, and when they went skiing or tubing, they came back the next day, it was full infection. You yeah. know, well, it's from the water. Well, here's another example, and I use this too, because you go to Old Hickory Dam, you put in Old Hickory Dam, and you run down the river. It's not funny, but it kind of is. You run down the river three miles, and there's the sewer treatment plant. 
Mm -hmm. 48-inch main pipe dumping right out in the middle of the lake. Yep. Okay, in the river. Now, you go down the river five miles, that's where they're taking the water back in to treat it. That's right. Okay? But they're saying the water coming out of there is satisfactory, it's treated, it's not harmful. Yeah. Okay? So I'm just letting y'all people in Nashville you just, know that you're just gonna leave it right up there. Tournament aren't you? Is, yeah, up currents, not good. <laughs> not but that's not just that. That's Priest, Barton's Creek at Old Hickory. That's where all the Lebanon sewer dumps. A lot of people don't realize this. It's something nobody ever thinks about. That's why Barton's Creek has so much bait in it. They'll be like, well, I ain't seen no bait in Bledsoe nowhere. You go in Barton's Creek, it's full. It's full. You know why? Because the sewer dumps. That's where the sewer dumps are. Right. No doubt. And all that bacteria and algae and stuff is a major thing for that. That's right. But you don't have it in Drake's Creek, you don't have it in Cedar Creek, you don't have it in Spencer. No. Nope. None of that. And you nope. don't have it in... Stacey Kip, none of that. None of that. All right, go to Del Hollow. There ain't none. Mm -hmm. They're going to the dump it in Salina somewhere. But Been look at the water at Del Hollow. Right, crystal clear, perfect. Mm -hmm. Go measure the you know, toxic content in it. What sewer dumps into Center Hill? I don't think there is one. Exactly. So, Old Hickory and Priest... We get it. You got... You get the sewer. That's Stones it. River, yep. Cheatham. It, it, it gets goes there. right down through there. It goes there. right in there. Mm -hmm. we got to take another break. When we come back, uh, we're going to have... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. i got to do the product of the week. Let's go to our product of the week. This week's product of the week is being sponsored by Highland Rim Tractor over there in Millersville, Tennessee. They are your Mahindra Tractor dealer. Go by and check them out. They've got everything you could possibly want in the way of a tractor. Uh, from a uh, little bitty uh, 14, 15 horsepower all the way to the big boys, the 78, the 100s, and all on up from there. So go get my holler and tell them that Southern Woods of Water sent you. Hey, I want to say that I have started using uh, a new sunglasses, and they're called Amphibia sunglasses. Now, if you've watched the show for any length of time, I used to have them on here, love them. Um, they, they're great. I've, I've gone to Maui Gyms and Costas and love those too. I, I don't think that there's ever been one that didn't work if it's got the right coating. But I got to tell you something. These sunglasses, these amphibious will float. That's what I like about them. When you bend over to pick up that fish out of a boat or over a pier or something like that and your glasses fall off, if they're Costas or, or Maui Gems or Oakleys, you're not sitting there crying that you just lost $300. These float, and you just reach right down there and pick them up. So try them out. Amphibia sunglasses. Check them out at your local dealer. Go to the website. Check them out there. we got a direct link for them there. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to open up our, well, no, we're not. We're just going to be you and I again. Hurry back to more. So it was waters. <laughs> 